Mortal Kombat 2 already has the perfect setup for the first Johnny Cage fight. Mortal Kombat may have skipped Johnny Cage, but Mortal Kombat 2 has the perfect way to introduce Carl Urban's character and fix a fan complaint. Johnny Cage, along the way in appearance in Mortal Kombat 2, is set up perfectly by the ending of Mortal Kombat 2021 as Cole Young is on the hunt for him. The similarities between Cole Young and Johnny Cage create an interest rivalry, even though the characters has never met. This sets the stage for a dynamic and entertaining fight between them. The fight between Cole Young and Johnny Cage at the start of Mortal Kombat 2 should not be a serious match, but rather a fun and meta encounter, allowing the sequel to kick off in an entertaining way. This is interesting. Um, my thoughts. Let me let me let me say my thoughts on uh, the casting of uh, Johnny Cage. Me on the per- on, on the other hand, uh, I'm not saying Car- Carl Urban is a bad actor, but he just do not fit that role as Johnny Cage. I think if anybody you was going to put it as Johnny Cage, I think The Miz probably would have been better. Um, maybe Ryan Reynolds probably would have fit their role a little bit better. He just don't got the look of Johnny Cage. Like I said, I could I'm, I could be wrong. He might shock everybody. He might be hella entertaining. I could be wrong. You know, give it a chance. You never know. But he just don't got the look. He got the if this is this the look they going with in the uh, the movie of MK two, uh, I you know what I'm saying Johnny Cage with a beard that's just you know, weird. But uh, yeah, and uh, my thoughts on Cole Young. I never liked this character Cole Young. They pushed this character on us. And he don't even exist in the Mortal Kombat timeline at all, and none of the games Cole Young don't even exist. He was pushed on everybody in the first when he beat Goro, which should never happen. He literally buried Goro. The man had plot armor. They literally gave this man plot armor to beat Goro. Now think about that now. Goro is how many times he how many uh like a one many Mortal Kombat tournaments over millenniums. Millennia. And he just pretty much one shot Goro, like tore out his, his his intestines and all that stuff. It's like what? Goro beat the Great Kung Lao. The Great Kung Lao couldn't beat Goro, but you telling me Cole Young can beat Goro? That really pissed me off. And then not only that, they literally had this man help out Scorpion at the end of Mortal Kombat. To, to, to fight Sub Zero. Like, Scorpion never needed anybody help to beat Sub Zero. And not only that, this was Nether Realm Scorpion. This was, it ain't like it was a normal Scorpion. This was Nether Realm Scorpion. Hell, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hellfire Scorpion. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was already a Nether Realm Scorpion. You know what I'm saying? Like, Scorpion never needed anybody help to body, body Sub Zero. Never. So it's like, why is I having him help Scorpion out to, to defeat Sub Zero? And not only that, they pushed Sub Zero too strong in that movie. Like Sub Zero was so strong in that movie that he was like literally Roman Reigns. He was the Roman Reigns of that movie. Like, bro, they made Sub Zero too fucking strong in that movie. But yeah, uh far as Car Urban playing as Johnny Cage, like I said, I give it a chance. I see what happened. But yeah, the casting so far for Johnny Cage, I'm not really interested, honestly. But like I said, give it a chance. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think of this article, man. Do y'all like the uh, the Carl the Carl Urban uh casting for Johnny Cage? Was that a good pick? Y'all let me know in the bottom of the comment section. Be sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That'll help out the channel a lot. And I catch y'all next time. Peace. Y'all have a blessed one and GG's. Peace.